Hello everybody and welcome to my new tutorial. I am SV and today I will show you how to make very interesting intro to any your presentation. So check it. Ok, today I will show you how to make a text animation, how to make a cloner animation, additionally we will talk about Voronoi fracture and how to animate it, and finally I will show you redshift materials and how to use ambient occlusion for redshift. So if you are ready, let's start! We are in Cinema 4D and first of all I create a text, going to Spline and Text. Ok, will be Tutorial. Uh, if you like you can put any text of you want or you can use you can use any, um, I don't know, any logo, Spline logo, any uh, symbols, but uh, today I will show you how to make a text. So, uh, I will use a middle direction and 200 size. This is enough for me. Now I go to Tools and add Swipe. Put this text inside to the swipe and create a rectangle. So, rectangle I will do a very... First of all I will put like, maybe like this. And I will do small size, 5 to 5 only. Just put this rectangle inside between a text and swipe. Okay, no, maybe other, other. Okay, like this. So, now my text coming from these rectangles. Very good. Uh, you can use any, uh, I don't know, N side or circle or four sides. It's absolutely up to you. But for my tutorial, I will use a rectangle R more like, like this. What we will do now? Create a cloner from MoGraph and put the swipe inside. You see. What settings I will use for my cloner? First of all, I will change the uh, direction of cloners to minus... I don't know, maybe, maybe my minus 10. Minus 10. Okay, to forward. And increase the count of these cloners up to too much. I will do 50, uh, 20. 20. Ok, I have like this, like this very interesting effect of my title. Um, how to animate it? First of all, we are go, we are disable my cloner and we are go to sweep. Inside in the sweep you have uh, two uh, options, start growing and end growing. As you can see, text slowly grow up. You can make it with any spline what you write, manually or download from somewhere. I will animate end growing. So, on frame number 0, I will make a 0 growing, like this. And frame number 100, uh, just be informed that my composition will be 200 frames, yes? Frame number 100, I will make a 100%. So, if will be my animation like this, coming, you see, it slowly painted. Very good. Then I enable again cloner and what I have? All my text growing together, all my cloners growing together. For delay, for small delay, I have to use a step. So I select my cloner, go to MoGraph, Effector and Step. You see coming some something strange, yes? Why it's coming like this? I have go to parameters and disable all parameters. I no need any position, scale or rotation. What I need? I need only time offset. It's like delay. So I will make this time offset for 50 frames only. And what I have now? As you can see, it slowly start painted one by one all cloners. Ok, animation done. What we will do now? We will create last cloner, so I will make a copy of this. No, I think I no need. I, I copy only this text, copy only this text, and put this text inside to extrude, like this. Make extrude only five, f 
five centimeters yes because my rectangles also five centimeters i go to last frame and put text somewhere sorry mistake text somewhere here also five centimeters above all my cloners somewhere to this position what i have i have like this effect okay uh, select extrude go to mograph and go to voronoi fracture now we are put extrude inside and all my text going to different many many different segments so i will increase a uh, quantity of these segments go to inside voronoi go to source select source which is coming automatically and increase amount for about 500 okay i have many many different segments very nice how to animate these segments uh, i will animate by standard plane go inside to the plane and to parameters i no need any position what i need i need only scale and scale will be uniform scale minus one minus one is coming like like a zero yeah what i will do now what i will do now i will put somewhere here i go to fallout and i will use a sphere okay as you can see where is i have my sphere i haven't nothing and slowly coming like uh, segments coming to negative scale yeah to minus one scale so i will make invert and in frame number i don't know number 130 i will make a size zero 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 size of my sphere size of my plane which is effect to scale of my segments from uh Voronoi fract fracture very good so uh when it's done i think i will put my text somewhere maybe maybe somewhere here just middle okay when it's done i go to frame number one eight zero and I increase size of my uh, size of my sphere, maybe 500, maybe 500, and maybe 500. What I have, I have all my text is painted, yes, but not up to end. So I will increase more, maybe 700, maybe 700, and 700. What I have okay but some of parts is not ready 750 750 750 so very good i have full text i will push a size game frame what i have uh, from frame number 130 my sphere start increasing as you can see and my text growing growing from small segments looks like very nice only what i have to do i little bit drag my text drag my text somewhere here okay very nice okay and finally what i have one two three all letters coming and slowly growing all my text very nice animation okay what we will do now we will create a camera we are go to standard camera from view and i go somewhere maybe here and i change position of my camera i like that my camera moving back from this text yes i change a uh, angle of this oh sorry change angle of this camera maybe like this and put more closer somewhere here okay look through the camera very nice maybe somewhere here okay and it will be it will be game number okay i go to camera i go to coordinates and select rotation and position this is will be frame number zero i forget to put frame number zero yeah somewhere here 
and then my camera going back maybe to somewhere somewhere here is going back maybe I will put little bit down and maybe I will change little bit my angle rotation maybe like this how you will do animation of your camera it's absolutely up to you absolutely what you like you can make and then my camera slowly moving slowly moving to oh sorry view on the view going somewhere maybe here then I change uh, rotation of my camera okay and I put to the middle I will use a uh, zero 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 and now a little bit pick up somewhere here and put too much back maybe like maybe like this okay keyframes and keyframes uh, I will go to size of my composition first of all I will use a redshift render and size will be 576 up to 1 to 80 yes white high division very good okay I think this frame I have to make little bit back camera maybe somewhere here okay and frame number 200 I will put back just to add some moving and what I have if I check how it will be it will be like like this okay very nice what we will do now I will create now some uh, redshift material so go to redshift material go inside and I will show you how to use ambient occlusion as you know in redshift uh, if you push effects you have here ambient uh, somewhere somewhere ambient occlusion you have global illumination so I cannot find it now Aha, uh -huh, okay. I think when, when you have standard render, yes, yes, you have ambient occlusion and you have global illumination. But for, for redshift, you haven't ambient occlusion. And this you can add inside in material editor. So we are going to material and inside in material uh, texture we have ambient occlusion. As you can see, ambient occlusion samples. We will drop somewhere here. Uh, inside we have not too much settings first of all this is bright color this is color of our letters I like to make uh, some lime color maybe maybe like this okay very good and after that I add this ambient occlusion to my redshift material like a diffuse color what I have I have like this and what I can to change first of all samples I will increase a uh, quality maybe 64 and speed I will reduce maybe 0 0.5 what is give for me now I will show you some examples come on very good and material I will increase a uh, reflection roughness 0 0.2 okay what I have now I will add my ambient occlusion to fracture and to my cloner and of course some light redshift light standard dome light inside in the settings I will change a color just for little little blue so render and check what we have we have like this very very nice animation look uh, I will render like I will render like this and now I disable my ambient occlusion and put here same color lime color just to show you the difference approximately like this okay and check again what's the different 
This is without ambient occlusion and this is with ambient occlusion. Looks like more better. Looks like more better. More interesting animation. Yeah. Uh, okay. If I change, I will put back to my diffuse color. If I change this spread, for example, 0 0.1 only, what I have, I have it more dark and like, I don't know. You see how it was before, how it's coming now. You see a difference, yeah? So if I put more, of course, it will be more light. Check it. It will be like this. What was before, what was now. So I like to use somewhere on the middle. I will use 0 0.5. I will use 0 0.5. Of course, I can use also it's for a reflective. I will apply this. Mm, how it's calling uh, reflective enable and I have like this if I render one more time you can see all my ambient occlusion reflected to other area and how it was before and now and looks like more better what I will add first of all I go to camera settings and focus object will be my cloner will be my cloner also for the camera I will add redshift tag and redshift camera tag. I will enable bokeh. And I go to redshift settings and I will add motion blur. Without any change, just standard motion blur. And what I have, render again and look. Now it looks like more interesting. Now it's blurred camera moving and I can see a very nice picture. Okay, uh, for animation, for my final animation, I will make output uh, PNG file. I will go to desktop, intro title, save. And I will use 64, no, I think I will use more, 128 samples 128 samples go to system bucket and increase up to maximum and spiral so uh, one frame if i render on my computer one frame will render it uh, we will check i think it will be about 15 maybe 20 seconds uh, but quality will be very very good quality so 11 seconds okay like this was before like this now here we have some noises, some uh, not so good blurring, and here it's very, very good quality of the picture. If you like, of course, for some good project, good presentation, you can increase the samples up to 500, maybe 1000, and you will have really incredible pictures. But for my tutorial, I will not like this. So when everything ready, you're going to output, you go to full frames, all frames, and push render. Okay. When everything done you are going in after effect i already find some two sounds dramatic hit bus zero one and debris slow motion zero one this is from a uh, video copilot so double click for this area go to your desktop and go to first render picture import and automatically imported all your uh, all your sequences make new composition and what we have if i play i have like this very interesting animation okay how i will add some sounds first of all i go to derbies i check uh, i check uh, derbies what is this i think i will increase sounds that you will hear it Okay, uh, somewhere here, I like to put in this area. Somewhere here, okay. And I take a dramatic hit bus, put also inside, just for beginning, for beginning, I don't need any changing for this. I change uh, Audi levels, minus 10 for derbies, and what I have finally. very nice 
Ok, and finally, if you need it, you can add some adjustment layer to make a, some color correction to add some effects. I will use a magic bullet suit, magic looks. Um, today I will use blockbuster cool zombie effect. And additionally, I will add some solid and I will do some vignette. Like this, invert go to mask settings increase maybe 400 here i will put maybe 200 like this and inside in the zombie i take out this vignette i no need it just delete okay very good and finally what i have okay that's all if you are like my tutorial please subscribe please share to your friends and put like and see you next time goodbye friends